This is the Easy Walker June, and today we're going to talk about three things that we dislike or three areas that we dislike about this stroller in general. So this stroller clocks it at around five or six hundred dollars, which is not quite as expensive as the Boogaboo Boo B, but it is trying to pull off a similar sort of stroller to the Boogaboo Boo B in that it's sort of a mid-size travel stroller. It's not small enough to have the advantages of being able to bring on a flight. Uh, but it's not uh, super large as to be sort of a mini full version stroller like the Baby Jogger uh, City Mini GT, for example. So it is really the Boogaboo B style. Uh, it has reversible seat. It has um, a seat that uh, is very reclinable and it has a lot of accessories uh, that come with it. Unfortunately though, for that pre cheaper price tag, you get it made with uh, a lot more, shall we say, uh, lightweight, poorer materials and the way it's put together um, is a bit shoddier uh, than you would find on the Boogaboo Bee. So uh, we're going to specify then three things or three areas that we dislike the most about it. Number one would be the front wheels. I like that they've gone for a larger front wheel. Uh, that's a nice idea, but unfortunately the mechanisms that hold the swivel uh, axles in place is not really strong enough to carry the weight of this, especially if you're using the stroller off-road a lot. Uh, what that means is that within a short time, it begins to develop wobbly wheel issues as that axle widens out and wears down the mechanism where the front wheels attach into. Number two would be uh, the unease of use, I suppose I could say, of a lot of the uh, major mechanisms or procedures one has to go through with using the stroller on a daily basis. Uh, the first would be how you put the stroller together. It has these big chunky things on the sides and it's kind of hard to get it to fold down small enough, I find. The second major area would be the reversal of the seat, which I'm not even gonna do here, but it's a multi-stage process in order to get this seat to face forwards. Now, uh, in general, it's okay to have somewhat complex mechanisms, but when you combine that with uh, a little bit weaker connections along the stroller in general, uh, and sort of weaker materials, a lot of plastic, uh, what winds up happening with a stroller like this is as you use it, as you use it off-road, and the connection points get a bit weaker, the symmetry uh, is damaged on both sides. And with a stroller like this, with putting it down or with reversing the seat, if uh, one side is weaker than the other, you're not gonna get all those little mechanical elements to line up as easily. And it becomes very fiddly over time in order to do these things like reverse the seat and put down the stroller. The third and most annoying thing that we found with this stroller uh, while using it for a while is that you can't easily get it uh, over curbs or any sort of intervening terrain. Uh, and it is really a major problem with the stroller. With most strollers, if you push down on the handle, it's easy to lift up the front. Now here I had a little bit of a blockage here on the terrain, but if you're wheeling this, you really can't lift it up just by pushing on the handle. So the handle is angled a little too high, the distance between the back and front ends are a little bit too wide, and there is no easily accessible foot bar in order to push down and give you leverage. There is one up here, and that's how we did do, uh, do this, how we did allow this to, uh, to lift up when we needed to use it with a child in it. Uh, also understand that when you have the weight of a child in it, it's gonna be even harder to lift up. But if you're trying to get this on a bus or something, you have to put your foot all the way up and really work uh, to get it up on places. So that is just an overall design uh, problem, really, with this stroller uh, in relation to use. Uh, this is a little bit sad because in the early days, Easy Walker was really a nice brand. Uh, if you go back to like the Easy Walker Sky, Easy Walker Duo, really anything before they brought the Quattro into play, uh, they were really a, a mark of quality. A lot of metal in the mechanisms and uh, um, really stable strollers in general. Um, so, uh, but unfortunately, um, a lot of their lineup today doesn't really fit with that sort of mechanical quality. But this isn't about the other strollers that they have right now. It's about the June, and uh, those are three things we'd warn you about if you're planning on buying one of these new or on the used market. Um, the price tag, again, is not as high as the Boogaboo B, but really some of these problems, especially that inability to easily lift it upwards, make it a stroller that I wouldn't buy even for the five or $600 that they want from it. Um, so in any case, that was that. Uh, we hope this video has been interesting. If it has been, we ask you to subscribe as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. Thank you.